scam. Did you know that over the last few years, counterfeit power tool batteries have been popping up all over the place and wrecking havoc on tool users, distributors, and manufacturers alike? Not only are they essentially stealing your money, they're also a threat to your safety and longevity of your tools. That's why we've made it one of our goals to let customers know how to spot them and how to steer clear of these dangerous dupes. With counterfeit batteries on the rise for popular cordless brands like Milwaukee, DeWalt, and more, here's how to avoid these nearly identical fakes. First off, it's important to know that where you should and probably should not shop for lithium ion batteries. I mean, let's be honest, these batteries aren't even allowed on an airplane. So they're not something to take lightly. As a warranty service center, Ohio Power Tool has seen many, many, many customers frustrated by fake batteries they get from eBay, Amazon, or Facebook groups that look real, have a great price, but don't perform nearly as well as real things, or just die after only a few uses. Nine times out of ten, it's because they're getting fake batteries from third-party sellers. What's crucial to know when it comes to buying any power tools is that manufacturers have certified distribution partners, like Ohio Power Tool, and they work with us to ensure that their tools are sold in the best way possible, at the right price, in the best condition, and with their warranties. When you purchase from a third party or non-certified dealer, you're not guaranteed any of this. Now you might be thinking, I see better prices on these sites though, so why care if it's counterfeit as long as it's a good deal? That's fair, the price is important, but unfortunately in this scenario you really do get what you pay for. The problem is counterfeit batteries lie about the amp hours, use poor quality or reconditioned cells, use way cheaper electronics, and so on. This can all be dangerous and damage your tools. The goal with people selling these to users is to make as much money off you while still being priced low enough to make you want to buy. Then they stop working quickly, that's not their problem. With the labor to assemble these packs being as quick and as cheap as possible, safety standards are not being followed. So not only can they catch on fire during use, but they're also certainly likely to short or damage your tools. What you'll commonly find is a lot of repurposing of old actual batteries. When it comes to counterfeits, you can guarantee the cells inside are not what they claim on the outside. Again, with the goal of maximizing profits, all the seller has to do is print 5.0, 6.0, or 8.0 amp hours on the side of a battery to get the highest return, swap those cells for common 3.0, 4.0, or reconditioned cells sourced from dissembling hundreds of other old or not working 20 volt or M18 batteries, and it's alive, Franken battery. Typically, reconditioned cells are tested, and the few that work will appear new and can be assembled into new counterfeit batteries. But these cells could be years old and have undergone hundreds of cycles already. This makes it ideal for sellers to make these batteries last a few dozen more times, just long enough to surpass the 30 day return period of most marketplaces when they're sold. So when it comes down to it, how much are you really saving with counterfeit batteries? Since you're likely getting a 3.0 or 4.0 amp hour battery, possibly reconditioned, poorly made, with no warranty anyway, I'd argue you're paying way too much. You'd probably be better off going to your buddy on the job site and seeing if they'll sell the oldest battery to you for 40 bucks, which I'm sure they'll be happy to do. What makes matters worse is if you have counterfeit batteries, you obviously won't get a warranty. If it breaks or fails, you can't get it repaired or replaced by the manufacturer. At Ohio Power Tool, we handle thousands of Milwaukee M12, M18, and MX battery warranties each year, with Milwaukee honoring them up to two to three years, and we take them in from not just what we've sold, but big box store customers and other retailers as well. We back up what we sell, even if others won't, unless it's fake, that is. Milwaukee and DeWalt recognize that there is value in doing what they can to get reliable and affordable batteries in their customers' hands. To get things under more control, these manufacturers are taking a couple different approaches. For example, earlier this year, DeWalt reintroduced their 20 volt max 3.0 amp hour battery for just 39 bucks, aiming to provide a reliable and affordable alternative to counterfeit batteries flooding the market at seemingly unbeatable prices. Milwaukee is approaching the issue by strictly limiting who can sell their products and where. For instance, a big tip for you Milwaukee users, they don't sell on Amazon or let any authorized Milwaukee dealers sell on Amazon. So 100% of the dealers on Amazon selling Milwaukee tools are not authorized Milwaukee dealers. Not a single one. Since Amazon happily allows counterfeits, Milwaukee doesn't want any of their products on that website, allowing them to quality control their products even better. Now, at Ohio Power Tool, we do sell thousands of products on Amazon, and we partner with other major brands on their authorized resellers that are also on Amazon. But zero of these products are for Milwaukee Tools, our biggest partner. If we could sell Milwaukee Tools on Amazon, trust me, we would. The reason there's such a rampant counterfeit market for batteries is likely because the retail prices for higher amp hour premium batteries are sitting around 150 to 250 or even more these days. So there is a lot of profit to be made if people can make knockoffs really cheaply. Originally, when you would see some eBay and Amazon resale batteries, it was from people buying into promotions where they would buy a tool and get a free battery. Then they'd separate the two and sell each at a lower price and make a profit. So years ago, all the batteries on marketplaces were mostly legit, or it was very obvious when they were fixed. You could buy a real M18 battery for 70 bucks instead of 99 or 129. 
This is not the case anymore though. And from what we see on a daily basis, we'd argue a huge majority of what you will find is counterfeit. Since they can sell even lower, the counterfeits have unfortunately chased away most of the traditional and legitimate resellers. Another issue with the new counterfeits is that they're now essentially impossible to distinguish from legitimate ones visually. For DeWalt, Milwaukee, and other big name cordless tool brands, these counterfeit batteries now look extremely similar to the real deal, including the higher end M18 high output batteries and probably M18 Forge Next. Oftentimes to the point where even our seasoned pros can't differentiate them until we open them up. If you're lucky, sometimes you'll be able to notice something small like a misprinting of the logo or something terrible like the battery cells just casually being exposed. So no matter how good it looks, the only way to really trust what you're getting is to trust the source. Buy from known reputable businesses or use the tools Milwaukee, DeWalt, and other top brands have on their websites in the where to buy sections. At Ohio Power Tool, our goal is to always sell the best tools at the best price. We always have battery deals going on, but they do change often. Sometimes it is on lower voltage batteries, other times multi-packs or holiday bundles, or free batteries with tools or straight percentage off discounts. Whatever it is, there are plenty of ways to save. So if you're ever unsure what the best deals are, give us a call and we can point you in the right direction. So for instance, right now, I know DeWalt's 20 volt max 3.0 battery is once again only $39 for the next few months, and of course with the full DeWalt warranty. We wish they would just keep these running all the time, but a few times a year for longer periods consistently is a good start. Unfortunately, we can't just run them at that price all the time on our own, but that's a whole different legal conversation. Overall, it seems that the best way to combat these counterfeits to keep you, your tools, and your money protected is to take out the competition in pricing. People are understandably growing more and more frustrated with these scams. There will be a big push towards wanting verified authenticity of their tools and their batteries in the future. So what will they do next? We're not quite sure yet but we'll be sure to keep you updated and provide you with the best deals and information along the way if you have any other questions leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter whatever you prefer just get a hold of us and we'll help you out if you're looking for even more content from us subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here thank you for watching now get back to work I'm so sorry